We have released Streams 041, and in this video, we will take you through the main new features. This release has over 130 PRs from over 20 contributors. It supports Kubernetes 1.23 and newer. The last released Kubernetes version at the time of releasing Streams 041 was Kubernetes 1.30. In terms of Apache Kafka versions, Streams 041 newly supports Kafka 3.6.2. And in addition to that, it keeps the support for Kafka 3.7.0, 3.6.1, and 3.6.0. There are two feature gates graduating in this release. The first one is the Kafka Node Pools feature gate. It will be now enabled by default and it will not be possible to disable it anymore. But keep in mind that it doesn't mean that Kafka Node Pool resources will be always used. If you want to use them, you have to enable them using the streamsy.io node pools annotation, setting it to enabled on the Kafka custom resources. The second feature gate graduating is the unidirectional topic operator feature gate. That also means that the old bidirectional topic operator is not supported anymore and has been removed. The next big new feature in this release also includes topic operator. You can now use the topic operator and the Kafka topic custom resources to change the replication factor of your topics. It requires cruise control integration to be enabled. And if you have that, then all you need to do is to change the spec replicas field in the Kafka topic resource. And the topic operator with the help of cruise control will change the replication factor for that topic. We also continue with improving the craft support. And in this release, we add support for the JBot storage with multiple volumes in craft mode. This is supported on Kafka 3.7 and newer versions. As a user, you can also configure which volume will be used to store the craft metadata log on the broker and controller nodes. Please keep in mind that JBot supporting craft is currently an early access feature in Apache Kafka itself. There are, of course, also many other smaller improvements. For example, the standalone topic operator installations have improved configuration for the SASL authentication. The cluster operator now exposes metrics with the CA certificate expiration. And there is a new feature gate which allows you to configure the operator to continue reconciliation if manual rolling update fails. There are also many bug fixes and dependency updates. We hope you will enjoy this release. And don't forget to star us on GitHub, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on the social media platforms.